hi guys welcome to e-learning info my name is rajesh i have a short message for all if you're not subscribed my channel so search on youtube e-learning info it and click to subscribe button and click to bell icon and when i upload the latest video so get notification directly your mailbox and this is completely free guys so please subscribe now hi guys so today i'm gonna show you how to install checkpoint r7730 uh, because the mcafee Threat Intelligence Exchange and EPO Server also integrate with Checkpoint, okay, with DXL. As you know, DXL is open source, so we can integrate the Threat Intelligence Exchange with Checkpoint. So I show you how to do that. So first, you should install the Checkpoint if you are testing purpose. So install the Checkpoint if you have already implemented the Checkpoint. So I show you how to do that. So first. I perform this activity on my VM workstation. So I create the new virtual machine, customize next, workstation next, installer next, okay, on Linux, uh, other Linux 64 bit, okay, next, enter the name, checkpoint, sorry. R7730 and guys uh, I create the say diff separate location for the virtualization okay otherwise this location on C drive so as your recommendation uh, as your requirement so you can select otherwise take default so next take default if you required mm, number of processor and course so you can Edit next RAM required 700, so I it take default. So I give at least 1 GB, is, I give the 2 GB at least. Okay, 700 also is enough for that, but I give the 2 GB for that. I, I configure the net on my VM environment. So next, next, default, next, create the new virtual hard disk so I give the 20 GB next and save the store on D drive okay so I save it see next and finish so I don't think so printer is required for in firewall so remove it sound call also not required on firewall so save and select the auto CD and DVD so guys I select use this ISO and I browse the location checkpoint D drive and checkpoint guys I have already downloaded this ISO image for from checkpoint portal you can also sign up the checkpoint and you can download this for trial version and this is 15 days trial only after 15 days you can uninstall and reinstall and also if you have partner login so you can coordinate the checkpoint support team and they will provide you something to exceed your license otherwise you should buy that okay so I open it and see auto selected now okay and see now click to power on okay so install Gaia on this system yes okay this processor will install checkpoint Gaia R77 operating system and associate the applications so do you want to proceed yes okay more information uh, if you want to more information so you can see go back and okay and select your uh, keyboard so I select US okay 
uh, you can define for log location 5% so how much space is required okay backup and upgrade take the 12 GB 63% and locks required 1 GB so it take default you can assign okay so I I'm not any changes go okay and enter the password make sure this is your admin password so I type that and now ok and asking the IP address the management IP in management interface IP address ok so I keep that is guys I have only one internet card if you have multiple so they will ask you what internet card you assign the IP address okay so I select it 10.10.10. .10 .10 .10. Mm. 99 okay bye bye and my gateway is 10.10.10.10 .10 .10 .10. and DSCP no and okay and are you sure you want to continue okay so guys it will take around 5 to 10 minutes so now pause the video when it will finish so we'll come back <sighs> okay guys so installation is complete so to the first time configuration system login from the console connect using browser and HTTP and my man in enter the management IP address so as you know my management IP address I mentioned there is the 10.10.10.19 99 so now first reboot the appliance okay so server is rebooted I now first login is with admin and enter the password and okay in order to con configure your system please access the web UI and finish the first time with that okay so open my web browser and enter the https and 10.10.10.99 10 10 10 ok and now to proceed and enter the admin address admin password is now enter see see the Gaia first time configuration wizard click to next okay I have already mentioned this IP address okay if you mention the manually okay if you change this IP address so you can and if you assign the IPv4 so you can enter the manually IPv4 but I don't want so now I off that next the enter the year name I change the my appliance name GW iPhone checkpoint if you have any domain name so enter I enter the domain uh, public DNS and tab 4.2.2.2 ok if you have any uh, separate DNS address you can also enter and also enter the domain name uh, ok 
and if you have if you manage by proxy so you can enter your proxy IP and port next select the time zone see the Kolkata and now select it this is my country if you belong from other country US Asia Africa China so you can select next see there is two option the uh, security gateway or security management or multi domain server so I select the security gateway next and there is the two product security gateway and mm, security management so I select the both okay this is clustering so this is and next enter the administrator name so I type the admin and password is the same sorry and now next you are manage the console from this IP address and selected machines so you can assign and you can also give the range 10 uh, if you assign the range for start to end so that range can access the management console client otherwise not so I select the any IP address take management console next and finish so this is start okay and guys it will also take time around five minutes so now pause the video okay guys so configuration is done and you must be re, uh, restart the system or and to finish the con configuration click to ok restart now otherwise we would in 30 seconds see the I think so please stand by will rebooting the system wait wait for a few minutes okay guys so server is rebooted and now I log in and login also here so guys I show you login in here and okay it's not showing in here so see I should open that on Google Chrome and Mozilla Firefox so no issue guys see the management software blades using the smart console so click here and see the management console is download and save as and save that on desktop so see it will download okay and install it okay and I show you that I have already installed this man smart console I show you downloading around two seventy nineteen come on okay see I think download is complete so you can also download from here and install it it's basic installation you can do that and I show you after installation go on program and see I have installed the 
चेक पॉइंट स्मार्ट कंसोल दिस सेटअप आई हैव रिसेंटली डाउनलोडेड एंड सी द चेक पॉइंट स्मार्ट कंसोल एंड देर इज अट ऑफ डैशबोर्ड इफ यू लॉग इन यर सो आई लॉग इन द स्मार्ट डैशबोर्ड एंड नाउ आई इंटर द आई पी एड्रेस सॉरी पासवर्ड गाइज इफ यू हैव मल्टीपल मैनेजमेंट सर्वर सो ओके एंड अप्रूव इट प्लीज वेट फॉर फ्यू मिनट्स द लोडिंग एंड कनेक्ट टू सर्वर सो So guys, see the checkpoint R seven seven three zero is successfully installed, and this is smart console. So I hope you understand how to install it. So next video, I show you the how to check in checkpoint extension in EPO server, and how to integrate checkpoint and tie server or EPO. Okay. So thanks for watching guys if you like my videos so subscribe my channel thanks for watching bye bye